Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and I've just received through the post this morning another package from my good friend Phil O.K. Baker. And once again, Phil has given me a great deal on this package. So, let's get into it. Nurse, scalpel, thank you very much. As usual, Phil has packed this amazingly and put on a really good postage as well, special delivery. So thanks once again for that, Phil, honestly. So, let's see what Phil has sent. There's a note in here. Hi, John. Please find and close the two Vinegar Syndrome titles you agreed to buy. Three great movies complete with awesome slipcovers. Well, as everyone knows, the Vinegar Syndrome slipcovers are the zenith. I also have added a free Blu-ray for you to have. It was a promo I got from USA. Enjoy. I think you may like it. As always, keep doing your videos. They are pretty special. Some of the added stories you add are just fantastic. Well, I do like to tell some stories. I tell you, I'm a waffle for England. Thanks very much, Phil. Yours, Phil 4K Baker. Yep. So, Phil's a great guy. And uh, he's... he's it's such a friend of the channel. I mean, we've been talking for, for years now when I come to think of it. And uh, I just want to thank Phil once again for thinking of me when he got in touch and says, do you fancy, you know, what do you think about these ones? And I went, yes, please. As always, amazing packaging. And the stuff is also packaged in here. So. I think this is the one that was... Phil had said it was a freebie, I think. Brian loves you. Wow, shades of clockwork orange. <laughs> I like the sound of that. George Wend, Tiffany Shepis, Daniel Roebuck and Tony Todd. Now this movie rings a slight bell with me, but I know I've definitely never seen it. I'll put that up for you there so you can read what it's all about. It's also got some good special features on there. And it is, on the, the case there, it said it's region free. It's for, from NVD Visual. And this is uh, very intriguing, shall I say. Shades of clockwork orange. So, mm -hmm. so that's the disc inside. Yeah, quite intrigued to see what this is all about. What I'll do at the end of this video, I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think the picture quality on these movies. So that's the, the very weirdly titled and very intriguing movie Brian Loves You Wow So next is The Vinegar Syndrome release of I've got this right way up Horror High and also Stanley Now I'm familiar with these two titles I know them by name I don't think I've seen them I know I've seen the slipcover to these and I just so when I saw the slipcover, I thought, this is amazing. And, oh, wow. Excuse me for five minutes while I gush. It's just, I mean, the attention to detail with these movies is just so amazing. So this is obviously a double bill. This horror high in Stanley. Tim has a ra pet rattlesnake. When Tim gets mad, Stanley gets deadly. Uh, the movies are on two separate discs. That'll be the... Yes, I think Phil would have flipped the art on this one. You've got the choice of this art. Or the choice of this art. The look ultra low budget. Which is, you know, exactly what you want. I'll put on the... So you can read the, the blurb on the back there. It says uh, region free on there. I'll come back at the end of this video and I'll tell you what I thought of the picture quality. Is on. Usually, I've got to say, with Vinegar Syndrome, you usually get the, probably the best quality you're going to get from it. Because I, I do believe when they do a, a movie, they do an in-house um, remaster. And they do their own remastering, which is brilliant as well. In Boston, in Boston, in Boston. Standard. There is something evil out there. Possessed by a force that doesn't belong to this world. And it's going to kill me. Wow. It's a, it's a funny title that, because you hear that title quite a lot. Horror High, that type of thing. But um, I know this is a, definitely a different movie that I haven't got. So that's Horror High and Stanley. And lastly, 
is Drop Dead Fred. Oh, look at that. Wow. What a slipcover, man. I love this movie. I've got to say, I did watch it on, watch a bit of it. it was, I think it was on Amazon Prime or something. Because it's not uh, it's not the easiest of movies to find. So look at that. This this cover is just amazing. So I love Rick Mayall. He was one of my favourite. So sad that he's passed away. Can't believe it actually. That says Region A lock by the looks of it. But I'll check that out me on my player and see if it's actually is region locked. Because sometimes they do that and then they aren't region locked. But I'll tell you when I review this, when I tell you what I think of this uh, picture quality on this when I come back. This is the other art, which is obviously the art on the box. So Phil has turned that around. And this is the art that I remember from the VHS. It's got a booklet in here as well. I don't know that this movie was probably, I think, was this movie a hit in America? But I don't think it was a hit in the UK, I think. Or not so much of a hit. I think it did come out in the cinema. And I think it was more of a hit on VHS. I remember I saw it in the video shop. Because at the time when the video shop was open, you never went to the cinema. It was like, why would you? Because you can just get, wait and get this out in the, in the VHS and you can watch it uh, ad nauseum. So, great booklet there. Great movie. So if you don't know about Vinegar Syndrome and you like movies with the, the best slip covers ever, well, try and track some of these down because they are well worth it. Yes, you pay a little bit more. Sometimes you actually pay quite... On, on eBay, you can get them quite cheaply. But for me, this is... These are just the most amazing looking movies on the shelves. They're just brilliant. I'll come back at the end of this video and I'll tell you what I thought of these movies. And I want to thank you once again, Phil, for sending these to me and giving me the chance to own these. Really do appreciate it. Cheers, mate. So speaking of Vinegar Syndrome titles, I'd just like to talk about this for a second. Cloak and Dagger. This is the one that I got the other day from Film Treasures. I'll leave a link to their website down below if you want to go and get this type of thing from them. I got this in the sale. This is just a spectacular release. The picture quality in here is excellent. It's got some grain in it, but the actual colours make up, make up for the fact that you've got a little bit of grain in it, which doesn't bother me at all. Then you know you're getting a sharp picture. So even though I haven't seen the movie yet, as far as packaging goes, I highly recommend this movie. So that's Cloak and Dagger. First off, I checked out Brian Loves You. This movie is from 2008, and it looks like it was shot in a video camera, actually. It is region free. And it's got a, it's got a really good look to it, actually, even though you think it was shot on a video camera. It looks, it's got a really good print on it. It's square frame as well. It mentions a clockwork orange, but it seems to be more about the fact that this fella's in a psychiatric ward and the sort of experimenting on him, I think. As I've said, I don't know anything about this movie, but sometimes that's the best way, isn't it? Just going in blind and just being sort of interested and excited by something that you just have no knowledge of before. So that's Brian Loves You. Next, I checked out Drop Dead Fred. Now, this is region lock to region A, and... The picture quality is lovely. The colours in here are really vibrant. It's got some whoops. It's got some green in it as well, but not too much. <laughs> it's got some green on it as well, but not too much. So for me, I find this movie so funny. And like I say, big shame about Rick Mayall. He's truly missed. And yeah, so this this movie, if you do pick it up, do know that it's region A locked. And it looks lovely. So this is the 2K restoration from the 35mm interpositive. So it's not the original negatives. But even so, it does look spectacular. And of course, you get this amazing slip cover on it. So what more could you want? Amazing in every aspect. So that's Drop Dead Fred. Then I checked out Horror High and Stanley. Now, funny enough... I thought I knew this, I don't know why I knew this, you know, this movie. Well, I've got a box set from Arrow, which is just down there. It's the William Graff or William Graffé box set of low-budget movies. And this is the same director who did this movie. And this movie is from 1972. And it is, uh, it's, if you don't like snakes, it does say in there, if you don't like snakes, don't watch this film. Every bit I put on, there was a lot of snakes all over the place. So, wow. 
if you're a, if you're frightened of them, I'm not frightened of them yourself. I mean, I wouldn't like to be one in this room roaming around, but I don't mind looking at them. Yeah, but uh, this is purely a snake fest, and that the picture quality in this actually was really nice. I think these are both remastered from the original negatives in 2K, and it is region free the disc. So know that if you do buy it, you can you can put it on your player. And also I checked out Horror High. Now this movie's from 1973, it's ultra low budget. It does look pretty good, not as good as Stanley, but it looks probably as good as you're going to get of this movie. It does star, believe it or not, Austin Stoker, who starred in Assault and Precinct 13 about three years later after this. I, th I knew, I thought, wow, I've never seen him in another film, but obviously he was a low budget horror uh, star at the time. So yes, yeah, so this these movies are, for me, this is movies that I can really just watch all the time. I love low budget movies. I think they offer something that a big budget movie doesn't really. And they don't try to be anything else than what they are. They've got the wares and graces, you just go in and you know you're gonna have a sort of low budget you know, experience. And sometimes these movies are so watchable, they're so enjoyable. And that's what I like about this, the way that they show these movies, the way they present them, the way they release them, the ones that you wouldn't normally like not even know about or think about to get. But in this presentation, they're just so nice and they're beautiful on the shelves. You know, uh, you can't fault them at all. You know, I put them on the shelves and they're just, just amazing to look at. So once again, I want to thank Phil so much for thinking of me and uh, give me the chance to own these ones. So, thanks for watching. You take care, especially you, Phil, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.